Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am so excited for today. I am going to be making, guess what? Ghana jollof rice, okay? Mm -hmm. You heard me, Ghana jollof rice. So to make my jollof rice, let me tell you the secret about jollof rice. The secret about jollof rice is location, location, location. Actually, it's the sauce, okay? The sauce, the sauce, the sauce. Make sure that you have a really tasty sauce, okay? That will bring the mm, 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 mm out of your jollof rice, you know what I mean? So to make my jollof rice, I have six plump tomatoes. I have um, two medium-sized carrot diced up. I have... Uh, a quarter, I would say half a cup of um, sweet peas. I have a little over, I would say half a cup of green peppers, chopped green peppers, diced green peppers, whichever way you want to chop it, that's fine. Green pepper, I'm using green pepper to bring out the flavor. It gives the jollof rice a very nice aroma and tasty flavor. Okay, this you see right here is like my chicken broth. And this, I'm going to use this tomato. Um, it's diced tomatoes and I have like tomato paste on here from my Wache. If you've seen my Wache video, this was left over from my Wache video. I have tomato sauce, a can of tomato sauce. I have a can of tomato paste. Like I said, the sauce, the sauce, the sauce. Salt to taste. This will be my spices that will go into my sauce. I have bay leaves. The green stuff is moringa. I love moringa. I have my Maggie. I have um, cumin, I have a quarter teaspoon of cumin, I have turmeric powder, I have curry powder, just like a, a dash or a quarter teaspoon will be fine. So whatever spices you want to use, that's fine. I have my powdered, chili powdered pepper, okay, you know in Ghana, mekusam, I have mekusam representing right here, and I have uh, one teaspoon and a half, a teaspoon and a half of mekusam here. I got my oil, one third cup of, a little over one third cup of oil. You can use any oil of your choice. You can use olive oil, um, palm oil, any oil you have available. Oil is oil, okay? This right here is um, baked mackerel, you know, what we call in Ghana, salmon. So I am using baked mackerel. I baked this morning because my, my husband loves salmon. So whenever I cook, I try to incorporate that. So I deboned it and sort of like flaked it out just to get it. And trust me, when you add... Um, fish to your in Ghana. If I was in Ghana, probably and I had access to opoku. You guys know the meat opoku. I think that's what they call here, like kinfish, I believe so, smoked one. If you flake it and put in the man, mm, that is the bomb. Okay, if you put uh, that in your jollof rice, for, forget it. Forget that is the bomb. <laughs> I have one. Um, you would say medium large sized onion. I have a little over half a cup of coconut milk, unsweet. Remember. On sweet, I like coconut. Trust me, add it to your jollof rice. It brings all the flavors and the aroma together. And I have habanero pepper. I'm not going to blend it. I'll just throw this in here. I'm replacing this with my paposhito. Just to also bring a flavor. I have my rice. Um, jasmine rice. I have three cups of rice. You can use um, any kind of long grain rice. Um, you have, remember in Ghana, if you grew up, I did not have the luxury of even having long grain rice or jasmine rice growing up. I mean... The struggle was real okay um it was even a struggle to have three square meals a day and today look at what the grace of god has brought us remember if you had rice growing up in ghana like um it was probably like do you guys remember this rice to jimmy <laughs> one cup can feed about our uh, six seven family or so okay that was the go-to rice whenever you had rice guess what it was to jimmy because your parent could not afford long grain rice or perfume rice or whatever so to jimmy hmm lord this is how far you brought up so yes i am so excited yeah and then after this we can we can debate about ghana nigeria jollof rice which one is the best all right guys i love you guys i miss you so much oh yeah chop kiss <laughs> let's get cooking Guys, this was the medium sized onions all sliced up, chopped up, diced up, whichever way you want it, not your choice. So, I'm going to wait for the onions to soften up and turn like brownish, but not too golden brown. 
if, it, if it's soft, that's fine enough. And remember the plum tomatoes that I had, the six plum tomatoes? I went ahead and uh, sliced it up. So, yep, my chicken, um, baked chicken, if you would say. That's going to go with my jollof rice. And I baked it on um, 450 in the oven for 30 minutes, all right? If you do that, it cooks it quicker and it retains like the moisture. If you do like 350 degrees, it takes time to cook and then it like, it, it takes away the moisture, you know, it, get, it makes the chicken so dry. But if you can see, it is like moist, okay? I got this chicken fresh this morning. Ooh, I even selected the chicken, I'm like, kill that one for me. <laughs> so, yep, it looks good. I'm going to, the oven is off though, so I'm just gonna keep it in the oven just to keep it warm. Okay, so I have been cooking the onions for a little over um, nine and a half minutes. So I'm adding my garlic. Because I didn't want the garlic to burn. So that's why I added it at that point. All right, and I'm cooking this on medium to high heat. I have mine on eight. Mm-hmm. All right, so first I ordered a garlic cloves crashed, and right now about, I would say, a quarter teaspoon of grated ginger, okay? Goes in there. Flavor, 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 flavor. Go ahead and add, it's been a little over 12 minutes. With everything so I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes so I'm gonna bring the heat up to uh, between like I'll probably say high or oh, high yeah it's on high not probably it's on high so. yeah this is going to be a while it's gonna take time to cook okay So it took me four to five minutes to um, cook the tomatoes. One trick if you want to cook, cook your tomatoes very like quickly is when you put it, like when you add it to your onions and your garlic and your ginger, cover it because when you cover it, it traps the heat and it makes it, it cooks it very fast. So that's what I did. So I'm going to go ahead, add see my leftover tomatoes, tomato sauce. I'm gonna let this cook. And then we'll add in the. I'm not gonna add the whole thing, okay? So let's see. One teaspoon full. Two. So I still have some in there, so that's fine. I added a little bit more oil so that it will help me cook the stew, okay? You need that oil. Don't be afraid, you need it. You need it. Oh, you. Oh, you. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm bringing the heat down to about um, seven. I am going to add my my mokusam. Mm -hmm, my mokusam. That's the powdered pepper, powdered chili pepper. Okay. If you guys don't know what mokusam is, it's powdered chili pepper. We call it in Ghana mokusam. I'm teaching you chi. So in case you want to woo some Ghanaian girl, don't worry. You got Stella. Stella got your back, you. Get your back. So I'm gonna add the habanero just for flavor. And then let this thing cook. Let it cook. Let it cook. Let it cook. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. My sauce has been cooking for 25 minutes from the time I put the onions in till now. It's been cooking for a total of 25 minutes. I just added my bay leaves. I'm going to add the spice, the spices in here. And then it's going to cook. I want this sauce well done. I'm telling you guys, the secret to jollof rice is huh, the sauce, okay? The sauce, the sauce, the sauce. So, and one thing that I've realized too, like, you know, this is too much tomato. So when it becomes too, like, um, I will say um, acidic, just add a dash of baking um soda just add just a dash of baking soda and that should help with it so i have seven minutes on my timer for this to, to be ready so i'm going to go ahead and add my fish so for your jollof rice you can go longer on the stew but this is some more the expectation you're looking for you want the stew to be done you know 
to get that juicy, succulent, delicious, yummy, delicious taste. You get me? Uh -huh. So yeah, you can even, if you have kids like over the age of, um, I'll probably say two, they can eat this. Just um, don't put too much pepper in there. Just you can, with the fish, they can enjoy it. And so for the jollof fries, even vegans, if you are vegans, that means you don't eat fish, meat, any dairy product. This will work for you. Just skip the fish part. Oh, you don't have to eat it with chicken. Just skip the fish part, okay? So, yeah, you can, if you, I'm going to use, like, I have my chicken broth from the chicken I cook. So if you're a vegan, you can skip that and use vegetable broth, or you can use water. That will work perfectly well. Mm -hmm. Three minutes and 26 seconds on my timer. I'm going to go ahead and add my green pepper for flavor. So the sauce... Um, I cooked the sauce for one hour, all right? I'm going to go ahead, my rice is rinsed. So I'm going to go ahead and add, this is three cups of rice. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to, let's see. So I added one more cup of rice to the sauce, so that makes it four cups of rice. If you want to add more, by all means, you can do that. So what I'm going to do now is, see, I have my chicken broth it's i would say one cup of chicken broth that i got from my cooked chicken so i will see just that i'm going to add all the bottom part to it in goes my coconut milk all right so i'm adding salt to taste And I'm going to cook this on the stove for 15 minutes before I transfer it into my, my lasagna uh, pot. And then it will go into the oven. So I'm going to cook it on medium, like 6 for 15 minutes. Alright guys, so I brought the heat down to 4 because you don't want the rice to burn. So for the next 15 minutes, it's going to sit here and cook. This was a big bird. Wow. All right, so our chicken is done, you know. My husband is like, okay, I'm waiting for the jollof fries to be ready so I can dive in. Look at how good this looks, man. I should have been a chef. Rice has been cooking on the stove for 15 minutes. And so I'm going to go ahead and add my vegetables, my carrots and the sweet peas in here. Mix this in here. And I'm going to transfer this into this and it will go into the oven. I then half a cup of water. Okay, I'll add in another half a cup. There you go. We're good to go. Now I'm going to transfer this into my lasagna bowl and it will be ready to so go. I have my rice in my lasagna bowl. I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil and I'm going to cook this in the oven. I have the oven on bake 375 degrees. It's going to be I'm going to cook it for one hour and it should be that. The reason why I like to cook my rice in the oven is it comes like really done. And um, the the bottom part, you know, like because when you cook it in the pot, it's like gets burned. And, you know, you can enjoy the kanzu. The kanzu is like the burnt part. And this is like nice and done. And it just gives it like a really distinctive like flavor and softness, you know. You're not here, but let's just wait for an hour and you will see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to put this in my oven. Our jello fries is ready. Look at that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It looks well done. Look at it, guys. Uh, yep. I cooked it in the oven for a total of one, uh, one hour. No more, no less, okay? See? And if you like the burnt part, like this is how it comes out in the oven. See, very nice. I'm gonna dish it out. This is the jollof dance. <laughs> All right, the jollof turned out mm, very delicious. You you get the flavor from the green pepper, the coconut milk, mm, 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 and the chicken broth. You let it cook. Guys, it is delicious. Oh.
Fantástico. <laughs> Superb. Delicious. Wow. This is, I'm having my in-laws over for dinner, so hopefully they like it. But this is not too spicy, the right amount of spice. Delicious. So this is Ghana jollof rice. I added my own twist and turns because no two chefs cook the same meal with the same recipe or the same way. You know, everybody cooks different. So between Ghana, Nigeria, Togo, who has the best jollof rice? We all do. Different cultures. We bring something different. We bring different flavors to the food. So, but of course, Ghana, Ghana jollof is the best, you know? So... I hope you enjoyed this episode with me. For those of you that are, were asking me to make a jollof video, this is it. Do not skip that coconut milk because it gives it a really nice flavor. It's sweet, spicy, delicious, yummylicious, or delicious, quite delicious. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I hope you enjoyed this episode with me, this cooking episode with me your host. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. I know you watch my channel, but you haven't subscribed. Girl, dude, you're missing out. This is where you want to be. Hit that subscribe button, okay? Until we meet again right here on Stones and Chop Kiss. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Stay fantastic. Stay beautiful. God bless all of us. God keep us. So everybody enjoying their dinner? Absolutely. Yummy, yummy. Fresh chicken. What are we having? Jalapa. Jalapa. <laughs> Jalapa. <laughs> Jalapa. <Jalof> rice. Jalapa. <laughs> you always have to add oh, spice, yeah. Dad. <laughs> it's Jalapa dinner with Spanish cuisine from Ghana. <laughs> How do you like it, Dad? It's Ghanaian. <laughs> you like it, Ma? Yeah. How do you like your rice with the coconut milk and everything? It's fantastic. It's the only way. Very good. Bon appetit!